Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel, and welcome to Elm Creek Map on Farming Simulator 22. This is going to be episode number one, and this uh, might be a relatively short episode. Um, I'm just going to kind of give you a little bit of an overview of how I've got my farm and everything set up. And, and right now, what we're going to do is we're going to going to have one of the hired workers. Uh, transport this vehicle. Let me get back out here. Yep, I was in the right place. And uh, have him go to the main farm area, and then uh, we'll we'll catch up with uh, we'll catch up with her later. I uh, hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful day. Happy Thanksgiving to all of my uh, United States, U.S. Uh, uh, viewers, friends. And uh, let's just go ahead and leave Clever Motors, where we have just negotiated the purchase of um, that rock picker. And like I said, we're having one of our workers deliver it back to the main farm. So she'll, she'll make her way over there eventually. So by now, I would assume that you guys have consumed hours and hours and hours and are probably even playing uh, Farm Sim 22 on your own if you own the game. And I hope that you're enjoying it. I certainly have been um, gone through the the tutorial just to you know familiarize myself with the with the game. And I've played you know off camera, uh, fooling around with some of the equipment just to uh, you know just kind of get an idea of how how some of the differences are. I'm still learning as I go, by the way. And um, um, of course, we are just about three days yeah today is Wednesday we're about three days post release uh, farming simulator 22 and there are some bugs there's some challenges that we're just going to have to overcome and uh, I'm sure giants will be working on those if they aren't already and uh, those patches will be coming out and the fixes and everything that we that have been problematic to us will uh, will all be resolved so um, normally speaking when you uh, when you start this game this is your this is your main farm and this farm um, many many years ago used to belong to my grandfather and uh, he lived here uh, his house was set right over here and used these barns and used these fields around here and of course this was well before the town of Elm Creek uh, began to blossom and of course now you've got uh, you know he's got a gas station across the street and other things and he really wanted to better enjoy the um, um, the country life and so moved out of the country and um, set up operation a little bit outside of the general area here and that's where we're going to go and I'll talk to you a little bit about uh, all of that and how how he set it up and how my father that's come along after him made some changes and of course then I come along and I come of age and want to take over the family uh, legacy the family history of uh, farming and so that's what I've done and actually the old farmhouse that my granddad used to use we had it moved uh, had it moved out here to uh, the new farm location and that's where I live with my family and so I'm just going to give you a quick tour of that and again just to kind of let you become familiar with uh, how everything is set up and we're just going to pass her uh, we'll give her a little toot um, there as we pass by and I will apologize if game sounds are a bit low I think I think that's one of the minor issues with Farming Simulator 22 is the game sounds uh, appear to be a bit low um, this is our main yard here that that my father constructed uh, sort of uh, changed the way things are and we'll come back here and I'll show you that um, in just a moment but let's go ahead and go on up and around and I'll show you where my grandfather uh, moved and um, let's see I think it's here yep it's here and uh, now where I live and of course my father lives in the house that my granddad built so when my granddad moved out to the country um, this is where he moved to, uh, right up here. Very nice house he had built, and like I said, my father now lives here, and he's retired, but sometimes will help me out on the farm. And of course, this was my uh, my grandfather built that uh, built that barn, 
and farm all around the area here, uh, the adjacent fields and everything. And like I said, my uh, my dad lives up there now, and he's retired. We'll just ease on over here and around the old barn that we don't use anymore. Uh, unfortunately, Giants uh, doesn't put any functional buildings in these areas. Um, but hey, we're going to work around that. So this was the old farmhouse that my granddad lived in when he lived in town. And we had it moved out here and had it placed under these nice trees. And man, it is a really nice, uh, really nice house. We've done it up inside and restored it and all of that stuff. And so our farm area that we now, um, that we now farm is all this area right here. Fields 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Uh, this is our area, and this is the yard that we built down here. Now, I will tell you just to jump out of role play for just a moment. One of the reasons why I picked that area um, to set up the main yard, initially I was going to do that here closer to the house, but I just absolutely um, cannot well, I can grasp the concept of all the all the terrain editing and such as that, but I'm just not very good at it. And I think, <clears throat> as my voice cracks, I, I I'm pretty sure that Giants has made some some enhancements, some changes, and I'm pretty sure that things are a little bit better with the sculpting tools and everything that are available in FS22 versus 19. But I still just struggle, and, and when I was playing around with trying to level the ground up in that area that I just showed you, I, I was digging deep craters and um, just really causing more problems than what they were um, what they were worth. And so I noticed that this area down here is uh, was mostly flat, and so I was able to do a minimal uh, terrain smoothing and everything, and basically get things. Uh, sort of the way that I wanted it to be able to put in uh, a few of the things that we wanted to do. Now, I'm considering this to be sort of year one of our adventure. We've got about $750,000 in cash or just shy of it because I had to pay her to bring the uh, rock picker down. And there she parked the tractor there. Hopefully she got it out of the street well enough. Uh, I've got traffic turned off moment momentarily as I was moving all of this equipment and everything around. Um, the AI, as you noticed um, in the beginning of this video, works pretty well for being able to deliver um, equipment from the store to the farmyard or wherever you want to deliver it to. And um, so that's basically saved me a whole lot of time. But we've got most everything that I can think of that we would need to get started here on the new, uh, on the new farm and in this series and again this is going to be elm creek episode number one uh, again just to kind of familiarize yourself with what we've got going on so <coughs> excuse me so obviously because this is new uh the new large cattle shed that's got the automated feeder and everything i wanted to play around with that and didn't want to wait a whole lot of time to be able to do it so we have that set up here uh, we don't own any cows right now my grandfather uh, owned just a few cows years ago, just enough to, you know, produce some milk for family and friends and maybe sell a little bit from time to time. My father, when he sort of assumed the role of um, farm owner here, um, he really didn't do much with cows. This is kind of a new endeavor that I have started up uh, in my enterprise of how we're going to do things. And so um, obviously a lot of these fields are, 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 sown uh, that were part of the opening um, opening series of the map or sown in in crop types that we're probably not going to do um, after we kind of do the first harvest like this really big field here is potatoes uh, i'm not going to mess around with uh, with farming potatoes so uh, there's still some question as to whether or not we will uh, harvest these when they become ready or maybe we will just uh, plow this under and um, start afresh with something uh, probably maybe a, a grass field. I don't know if we'll put a grass field here in this big large patch, but maybe one of the other uh, patches up there. We may also uh, combine some fields. I'm kind of thinking that we might combine four, five, and six and kind of make this a long field to kind of match up a little better with seven, eight, and nine. 
but we will make those decisions as time goes by. So again, like I said, we've got the large uh, cattle haul here. Uh, again, just kind of wanted to play with this because it's new and uh, didn't want to wait a whole lot of time to be able to do it. We've got a silage bunker that we've thrown in here. Hopefully this is going to work out all right. Um, this is obviously compacted, but I think we need to add some more grass to this because it's only about uh 35,000 liters probably need a little bit more than that our first year and uh, don't want to have to um, don't want to have to move this um, to be able to free up the bunker if we can avoid it so probably do some more mowing along the the verge areas along the, the highway and everything and see if we can get some more grass now one of the things that you may not be aware of especially if you have not played with this large cattle haul is that we'll come back over here and I'll show you um, the it basically the automated feeder system is pretty neat and it's going to take a lot of time away from from us because like I said it is automated it takes uh, hay straw and silage and unfortunately in Giants Infinite Wisdom you cannot uh, put bells in here I was hoping that it would accept a bell and just shred it uh, as if the process was that we just shredded the bell uh, when we put them in here that would have made things a little bit easier because we could have done silage uh, we could have bailed silage or belled uh, grass and, and wrapped it for silage but um, at least at this particular stage three three days into the game release um, this only accepts loose or or bulk uh, materials so that's why we have implemented the silage bunker which I really don't like using these but uh, hey ho uh, that is what we've got to do and then I have placed in this old school um, barn um, that accepts hay and straw and so we will we will use that um, for the time being until maybe Giants makes a change or you know we get bored with this map and move on to something else but um, got another storage uh, area out here um, again because this is mostly flat out here it, it was easier for me to place these things probably will eventually uh, gravel this area here just so that our vehicles do not get stuck um, moving around in this area so let's see we're about 13 minutes into this into this video and I don't think it's gonna last much longer again like I said we've got our starting equipment We've put in these uh, these tanks. I really like uh, now this one here is a Stevie mod, um, and this will give you uh, this will give you uh, fertil dry fertilizer and also lime out of here, and it sells it to you as you dispense it. But these two, I really like uh, these that Giants have created. Um, this one here is, I believe, seeds, and you come up to this and you select seeds there's no more room uh, to store it but then you can buy it directly and fill it up and i really like this and this large container here is liquid fertilizer um, so won't really go through the details of all the equipment that you have you can kind of see what we've got set up out here um, and uh, we're going to be spraying liquid uh, fertilizer out of the uh, self-propelled uh, new uh, new self-propelled sprayer that's in the game and then uh, applying lime <clears throat> and fertilizer and we've got a couple of cedars cultivator uh, plow and a large tractor just um, in case we need it and the new mower that's part of FS 22 here I was going to get the um, the uh, the big M but unfortunately you know Giants has never uh, figured out or never wanted to put a hitch on the default versions where that you could basically mow and and collect grass at the same time so we'll have to wait for Stevie uh, to release his big M and I'm sure he will do that uh, in time he's already released about a half dozen or more mods into farm sim 22 and I'm sure more will be coming so this is it um, as we get started with this particular year and obviously we're starting in August because just sort of the default way that the game opens up um, we will figure out what we're going to be planting and figure out if we're going to harvest all these potatoes um, obviously that would be 
probably decent income. I really don't know how much potatoes uh, sell for. We'd probably harvest them and sell them directly off the field just to get them out of the picture. But uh, we'll figure out how we're going to uh, continue to do things as we progress with more videos here on Farm Sim 22 and Elm Creek. Uh, this is a beautiful map, and as we, probably the second episode, I'll talk a little bit more about um, my opinions of Farm Sim 22 uh, with about 20 something hours recorded um, so far into the game. And uh, I've got, I'm happy about a lot of things. I'm um, kind of meh about a few things, and I'm disappointed in a few others, but um, those are kind of minor in the grand scheme of things because we sort of knew going in that we weren't going to have GPS built in. And, um, you know, the, the course play type features that they've built in are rather minimal, and we knew that kind of going into it when we found out about that functionality. And we also knew that it's a work in progress, and I'm sure that things will get better with that uh, with that function so thank you for watching I do appreciate you watching my videos uh, I hope that you will continue to tune in to more videos on uh, farming simulator 22 and the beautiful El elk uh, Elm Creek map this is by far the very best map that Giants has ever made themselves and put into a base game um, very, very beautiful, very, uh, very nice map. So again, thank you for watching. If you're in the U.S., happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Be safe, and God bless you all. Talk to you soon.